true architecture is created by shaking the building and getting everything to fall off it. And you have the minimum essence that's left over. And that minimum essence creates a purity that creates a spatial quality in our architecture and a simple elegance to our architecture. And I believe in the Porsche, they've done the same. The RS has the original first thousand at least, had thinner steel, uh, thinner glass, interior components in the, uh, the lightweight version were lightened and parts were removed. This car was all about making it even more minimal by making it lighter than the standard car and then taking the same engine and boring it out to 2.7 liters. So, you know, the box stayed the same for the engine. It got lighter when they boarded it out. The horsepower went up. The box stayed the same for the car, but the components got lighter, so the car became more aggressive and, and lighter in all of its factions. My favorite part about the RS has got to be the sound of the motor. Because it's so unique to that car. We have a sport exhaust on ours. I just have never heard a Porsche sound like that. You know, it's not a, it's not a big block V8. It doesn't have a thump and a big lobe cam, but this one is just nasty sounding. I mean, it's just, it's pretty incredible. It's really an incredible um, high performance race car engine sound. The car is extremely solid. I mean, starting with the, the door opening and closing the click and the thunk that closes up. You get inside, you fit um, snugly in the seats. The steering wheel is right in front of you. You can't see the hood. You see the road in front of you. Your, your observations of everything um, that's around you is, is, is heightened um, by the seating. You start the motor up and, and this roar just starts to happen. You gotta get it up to temperature before you can get on it. But when you get on it, that thing just is begging you to take it to red line every single time. I think they won the hot rod. I think this car was all about Porsche wanting to take over racing. And I think this was the point at which they homologated a car. They only had to produce 500 of them so they could just kill it in European track racing. So you could go to the Porsche dealer, buy a car, and just take it right to the track. If you look at the 64.5, which was the beginning of the 911s, and you look at the lineage that travels all the way through the current car, you can understand that these are brethren. These are cars that have evolved, that the parts have been seasoned and, and distilled and so forth. Whereas most other cars, they want to be trendy and they want to move with the times versus evolve over time. interesting thing is it's not the prettiest car in the room, it's not the fastest car in the room, it's not the most expensive car in the room, it's not the rarest car in the room, but it has a collection of all the parts and bits that together are greater than the whole.